I hated to have you here. Um, I'm here to take a couple of questions. What's next for you, Dr. Jen? I don't know. I, I think I'd like to take a vacation with my family. We haven't done that in a long time. Um, I think there's something else other than work, and, and that's going to be new. How do you feel with the results? Um, I knew what was coming, and I'm pleased that they um, trust me enough to give me a couple of weeks knowing that I'm not here to do harm to this district. My heart has always been um, for this work and, and for the kids. And sometimes, as I said, uh, things happen for a reason. And um, it's been a struggle for years, even as deputy, with the financial um, constraints that we face. I think we've navigated through um, those waters effectively. We have truly kept um, the hurt away from the classroom, away from the children as much as we can. I don't see it getting a whole lot better. Perhaps someone can come in here with some new ideas that to take us forward. And you know, I really do believe that this, this board that we have individually, um, they're amazing people and it's tough on all of us. And I think um, the, the way you measure the quality of a person is the way they behave under a tough um, situation. And I think you've seen um, quality behavior from all seven board members. And um, I'm, I'm really um, honored to have been a part of under their employment. How do you... Well, Dr. Jensen, were you treated fairly for this process? I think we got kind of confused with the um, with the dates with the evaluation, and I wish that we could have had the evaluation process continue because we spent an awful lot of time putting together the data to address the eight elements of my evaluation. It was a new instrument so that the evalu evaluation would be based on data, not on emotions. But things happened so quickly. I don't. I think, as Mrs. Cook said, we had a couple of things kind of running interference with each other, and so. Because of all of that, I think it was as fair as it could possibly be at this time. No hard feelings for you? No hard feelings. You said There's always a reason for things. And you have to believe in that or else you know you can beat yourself up if you want to and I'm not willing to do that. Life is short and I'm gonna go forward and in whatever capacity I do I know it'll be serving kids and uh, and this community. How do you feel about the possibility of John Stewart coming in as the interim superintendent after you leave? Um, John Stewart um, is an excellent candidate for um, you know interim superintendent. I worked with John um, for many years when he was deputy, and I think um, he's a quality person. And I think that you know he wouldn't have a whole lot of um, downtime because I think he can hit the road running, and that's what we need um, right now. Is there the possibility of any further legal action, or are we done? I don't anticipate anything like that now. What advice on friendly terms, basically? Correct. What Thanks advice to my wonderful attorney. 